What is the latest version of Jenkins? As an administrator of Jenkins, there's a lot of times that you're going to want to know what is the latest version of Jenkins that's available for me to run. Let's take a look at a couple of ways that you can figure that out. First off, you're going to need to know what version of Jenkins you're currently running. So in my case right here, I'm running Jenkins 2.346.1. Now, as an administrator, I have access to Manage Jenkins, so I can click into that, and if there is a newer version available, when I take a look at Manage Jenkins, I will see whatever that version is. In this case, it's 2.361.2. So that's the first way of knowing what the latest version of Jenkins is. Go into your Jenkins controller, go to Manage Jenkins, and when you land on the Manage Jenkins page, if there is a newer version available, you will be told right in the top banner saying new version of Jenkins. This is true for both the LTS versions and also the weekly versions. So if you currently have the LTS version installed, you'll be told whatever the newest version of LTS is compared to what you're currently running. If you're running weekly, the same thing will happen there except it's based on the weekly releases. Now, what's another way that I can go and look to see what the latest version of Jenkins is? Well, let's go over to Jenkins.io and click on download. Now again, depending on what version you're running, whether you're running the LTS version, the stable version, or whether or not you're running the weekly version, you'll see here that there's changelog links underneath both of these. So let's assume for a moment that we're running LTS, and if we click on changelog, at the very top of the page, you're going to see what the most recent version is, and specifically in this case, the most recent LTS version. Again, we see that it's 2.361.2. Now, there's one other final way that you can figure out what the latest version of Jenkins is. If you're still using an RSS reader, you can subscribe to the RSS feed for the change logs. So if we click into RSS, we're going to see that this is the RSS feed for the change log item. So depending on your platform, your device, however you're using your RSS reader, subscribe to this feed, and anytime that there is a new release posted, it will show up in the feed. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.